As a Christian advocate and international public speaker, I am passionate about empowering marginalized communities, the misrepresented, and the stigmatized. I have had nearly 50 surgeries for a disabling and disfiguring condition that has threatened my existence, as well as changed the trajectory of my life. Yet, in the midst of dozens of procedures, I received four academic scholarships to study journalism at Middle Tennessee State University and TV and film production at Syracuse University. I went on to work for entertainment companies, including Cartoon Network, BET, and Hero Now Pictures, where I co-founded an ad hoc committee to address health-related diversity at the studio, the first ever. I successfully pursued a PhD from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I am now a full-time professor at Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. Now I combine my love of story and my passion for disabled people as a scholar and as an educator. And yet, my trajectory exists within a larger framework of exclusion for many people who look like me. This includes open discrimination, unconscious bias, and unquestioned barriers to success. As a disabled voice in the entertainment world, I am rare too rare. Since the 90s, with the passing of the Americans with Disabilities Act in the U.S., advocates, educators, activists, and researchers have called for the active inclusion of disabled people in all sections of our society, including the workforce and the media. Two powerful social institutions. The inclusion of disabled people in front of and behind the camera in entertainment provides a unique opportunity to influence two key arenas that directly and indirectly impact the quality of life for disabled people. The fight for disability justice has rightly turned to center not only media representation but also increasingly media participation. Media representation of disability centers a concern for the presence and the depiction of disabled characters in mainstream entertainment narratives. For example, although those with disabilities make up the largest minority in the world, around 10% of the world's population, or 650 million people, according to the United Nations. Research from GLAD Media Institute indicates that out of 773 series regulars on broadcast cricket TV shows from 2020 to 2021, only 3.5% or 27 characters had any form of a disability. Research I've done with an academic colleague, Meredith Howe, provides additional evidence concerning participants' overall low frequency of consuming entertaining content featuring a lead character with a disability. Boom, got it. Furthermore, when those characters are included, researchers debate whether those portrayals are helpful or become a hindrance. They often include stereotypes of the disfigured as scary and of disabled people widely as inspirational or heroic, rather than fully dynamic people. These depictions can work to perpetuate stigma and social inequity. As an answer to these kinds of issues, the need for representation and more authentic representation is becoming a well-publicized narrative. However, 
In order to truly change the narrative, I advocate for media participation rather than just representation. Media participation demands a particular attention to the lack of opportunities for disabled people to participate in the development, production, marketing, and distribution of entertaining content. Entertaining gatekeepers play a central role in helping to foster this systemic change. You all can work alongside us to seek and seize opportunities that open the gates of the industry to marginalized people like those with disabilities and chronic conditions so that more of us can become active contributors within the mainstream entertainment industry as a working professionals. This includes roles that are vital to disabled people being able to represent ourselves on screen, like the roles of casting directors and actors, as well as the roles that are vital to the entertainment production process as a whole, producers, directors, screenwriters, and executives. There are at least five ways that gatekeepers can help improve media participation for disabled people. Number one, identify and champion existing talent. This includes those whose training and resumes are right for the right person to acknowledge their existing work and prepare their careers forward. Number two, training and nurturing emerging talent. This includes creating pipeline programs and mentorship opportunities that expand the industry with new hungry creatives from the disability community. Number three, setting quantifiable goals for production companies and studios. For example, consider bringing on a dedicated diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging consultant to help you reach any goals that you set for your company. Number four, support independent content created by the disabled community. Meaning, in addition to bringing disabled people into mainstream entertainment, or integration, invest resources into partnering with organizations in the disability community to acquire and distribute high quality content that's produced independently. And finally, simply refuse to prioritize money over true allyship with our communities. These five keys can help gatekeepers redefine what success looks like in the entertainment industry. Fostering a more inclusive workforce and more authentic stories, while also appealing to a whole new audience, disabled people who hold over $490 billion in disposable income. Access to media production roles will allow more disabled people to acquire the cultural, social, and material capital needed to help create the entertaining images that shape our culture and thus our society. With your help, we can help propel a new narrative that people with disabilities can use to overcome stigmatization and become fully empowered. Work with us to forever change the tired tropes about who disabled people are and what we can achieve in this world.